What is going on everyone? Today in this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Sony's new Imaging Edge webcam software and how to use it with your live streaming platform coming up after this. Hey everyone, my name is Nelson and on this channel I do technology and photography based tips, tricks and tutorials. I've got lots of awesome content coming up in the future, so if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing. Okay everyone, well it's been a long time coming but Sony has finally released their webcam software that we can now use with many of Sony's popular E-mount, some of their A-mount cameras and some of the DSC point and shoot cameras as well. I will put a complete list of compatible cameras in the description below and let us get started. There are some things to note first. If you're using the Sony A7 Mark II, A7S, A7S Mark II, A7R Mark II, A5100, A6300, A68, A77 Mark II, RX1R Mark II, RX10 Mark II, RX10 Mark III, RX100 Mark IV, RX100 Mark V, then you will need to set the camera into auto mode in terms of the mode dial or settings before using your live streaming software. And then once you launch the software, you can go ahead and move it back to movie mode. All other cameras, other than the ones I listed above, you can actually start those off in video mode. Also, we are going to need to make sure to close the Imaging Edge remote software as it cannot be running for this to work. Also, when using the Sony webcam software, keep in mind it's going to change your aspect ratio to 16 by 9 if you had it set to something else. And it will remain as such even after we are finished and not using it. So you will need to go back into the camera and change your mode back to whatever it was instead of it being in 16 by 9. If your camera supports the ability to be charged over USB, you should enable that option if you haven't already when you're using this software. And Sony recommends that when you are using it on the PC that you make sure the PC does not go to sleep. Audio recording is not available from the camera's internal microphone and you must use your own mic plugged into your computer if you are wanting to capture audio. Okay, so there's going to be some settings we're going to need to change on the camera itself. And if you're using the newly released vlogging camera, the ZV-1, you're going to go ahead and click on Menu and select over to Network and choose the control with smartphone and make sure to disable that function. Also, while you're in that network section, go ahead and click on PC Remote Function and click PC Remote to make sure that it is enabled. If you are using an A9 Mark II or an A7R Mark IV, you will need to go into the menu and head over to the network tab, which looks like a globe, and go down to where it says control with smartphone and make sure to disable that function. And then while you're also in that network section, go ahead and choose PC remote function, choose PC remote, and make sure that it is turned on. Then while you're in the network section also, go ahead and head over to PC remote function, click PC remote connect method, and then select USB. If you have any of the other cameras that are not the A7R Mark IV ZV-1 or A9 Mark II, then you're going to go ahead and hit menu on the back of the camera, and you're gonna navigate over to the network section. Go down to where it says control with smartphone and select that and make sure to turn control with smartphone off. Then go ahead and hit menu again, and you're gonna head over here to the setup tab, which looks like a toolbox. Then we're gonna hit down one, and you're gonna scroll over to where it says USB settings. Go ahead and click on USB connection, and make sure you select PC remote. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the Sony webpage that has the download for the Imaging Edge webcam software. I will leave a link in the description below. And here is a list of all of the models that are supported. Now I'm gonna be using the A7R Mark III today. So what you're gonna do is, is you're going to go ahead and find your camera on here and click on the checkbox. And then now this download icon will appear. Go ahead and click on download. And then you're going to navigate to the folder. Mine is just in the downloads folder and then double click the executable. Okay. 
Okay, this is going to bring up the setup wizard. So go ahead and click next. Go ahead and read the end user license agreement if you so choose. And then go ahead and click on agree if you agree to the terms and click next. Okay, we are ready to install Imaging Edge webcam software. I'm going to click install. You may get a dialog box that pops up with the user account control. Go ahead and click yes if you agree to allow this app to make changes to your device. Then this window security pop-up will pop up and it would like to ask if you would give it permission to install this software. And uh, go ahead and click install if you so choose. All right, it has completed. Go ahead and hit finish. All right, now that the software has installed, I am going to show you guys how to use this on my favorite streaming platform, which is OBS Studio. So I'm going to fire that up. Okay, now that the software has installed, the first thing you're going to do is plug your USB cable into your PC and then put the other end into your camera and go ahead and turn the camera on. Okay, so we're going to come on over here to where it says sources and we're going to click on the plus icon and we are going to select video capture device. Now I'm going to name mine after my camera, Sony a7R3 and click OK. And now come on over here to where it says device and drop this box down and you're going to select Sony camera imaging edge and click OK and click OK. The software will fire up. All right, well, there you have it, guys. I am now using my Sony a7R Mark III as a USB webcam. So now I'm going to show you how to set up an audio device in the PC. All right, guys, so like I said before, you are unable to use the internal microphone on the camera to capture audio, so we're going to have to set up a different audio device. So go ahead and plug in your favorite USB mic or plug a microphone into the input on the sound card and come back over here to Sources and click the plus sign again, and we're going to go to Audio Input Capture this time, and we're going to Create New, and I'm going to click OK. And we're going to click on device and then your device should pop up here. Now I have a Yeti microphone on mine, so I'm just going to click here and I'm going to click OK. And there you have it, guys. Well, I hope you found this content useful. If you did, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Have a great one, guys.